ever wonder what the 12 days of Christmas refers to? It's the 12 days between Christmas Eve and the Great Feast of the Epiphany on January 6th. This feast is one of the most important and ancient in the church. In fact, the Feast of the Epiphany and Christmas were originally the same feast, celebrated on January 6th. Today, like Christmas, the Epiphany commemorates the incarnation of Jesus, the Son of God. But unlike Christmas, which focuses on the birth of Christ, the Epiphany emphasizes the coming of the Magi to give homage to the infant Christ, the newborn King of the Jews, although it also recalls his baptism and the wedding feast at Cana. Why does the feast recall so many events? Epiphany means to manifest or to show. And so, the Epiphany celebrates that the God of Israel has been made manifest to all mankind, represented in the pagan Magi. The Magi were themselves Persian priests and astrologists, not kings. According to church tradition, their names were Caspar, Melchior, and Balthazar. And these names are represented in chalk over the doors of churches and homes after the Feast of Epiphany. Christos Mencionum Benedicat, it also means. May Christ bless this house. It is a special opportunity to seek Christ, the light of the world, and to bask in the joy of his presence and the salvation he won for us by his coming. God has shown himself to the world in Jesus Christ. In the Magi and in us, all nations give praise and worship to Christ, the true God and King, offering him gifts befitting his mission. Gold, symbolizing his kingship, frankincense, symbolizing his priesthood, and myrrh, symbolizing his death on the cross. Let's always worship Jesus Christ, God manifest to us, and by our lives and words, make him visible also to everyone. It is a special opportunity to seek Christ, the light of the world, and to bask in the joy of his presence and the salvation he won for us by his coming.